my patient, Esteva, was Catholic. I am not. She spoke Spanish. I do not. Walking up to her room for the first time, I felt nervous. How was I going to connect to her if we couldn't even talk to each other? And when I saw her for the first time, I was met with an even greater challenge. I saw three angry cancerous tumors on her clavicle. Swallowing hard, I prayed she wouldn't notice my shock. In hospice chaplaincy, you know your patients are gravely ill and likely going to die. However, it is rare that what is killing them actually stares you down. The tumors drew my gaze, turned my gut, flooding the space between myself and Esteva with panic, anxiety, horror. How was I going to be present for her? Really, be present with everything that arose in me. And for that matter, really, what is presence? Why is it absolutely essential to offering pastoral care? Incredibly, there's a clue in a verse in this week's Parsha Pekudeh. Vayakas he'anan et oel moed uchvod Adonai male et hamishkan. The cloud covered the tent of meeting and the presence of God entered the Mishkan. The presence of God in all of the details of building the Mishkan. For weeks, skilled hands weaving tapestries, forging rods and hooks and instruments, painstakingly sewing the high priest's garments. In all of these details, the role of God's presence may be overlooked. This verse reminds us that the Mishkan was more than an ornate container, colors bold and gold gleaming in the light of the handcrafted Ner Tamid. This verse teaches us that God's presence was the vital finishing touch to the Mishkan. Just like every element of the Mishkan entailed multiple tasks carried out by an adept artisan, so too caring for the sick requires skilled professionals and dedicated loved ones. Doctors prescribe medicine and make diagnoses. Nurses monitor vitals and administer drugs. Aids cleanse and feed the patient. It is no wonder that most interactions with sick clients are task-oriented rather than conversation-focused. The amount that goes into caring for just one person is dizzying, and the stakes are high. A mistake could result in harm. In comparison, my role as a pastoral presence seems almost secondary. And yet, through the power of presence, we may offer something that other disciplines cannot. In the Talmud Tractate Brachot, we learn about a visit that Rabbi Yochanan made to Rabbi Eliezer. Rabbi Yochanan enters, finding his sick student in a completely dark house. He slowly pulls up his sleeve and something miraculous happens. His arm begins to glow, illuminating the room. In the light, he sees that Rabbi Eliezer has started to shed tears. He asks, why are you crying? Rabbi Eliezer answers, I'm crying because this beauty will decay in the dirt. That's why I'm crying. Rabbi Yochanan answers, well, of course, that's why you're crying. And they weep together. And we weep. And we care. And we offer ourselves. Anochi am imo I am with you in your distress. 
says God in Psalm 91. As servants of the one who draws close, we are called to say the same. I am with you in your distress. We are called to join others in their authentic experiences, however painful, offering the possibility of true healing. So there I was in Esteva's room, her tumors threatening her life and my ability to care for her. Something inside of me said, look at her face. Look at her face. It was a voice I'd heard somewhere, maybe in my studies. It was the voice of the Jewish philosopher, Emmanuel Levinas, speaking. He famously said, the face of the other is immediately a commitment for me, an appeal to me, an order for me to be at the service of this face. And so, I took a deep breath and I looked at her face. I saw her eyes, her wrinkles, her cheekbones, her tumors. My breathing slowed. My feelings of panic, anxiety, and yes, horror faded. I was finally offering Esteva my presence. We were eye to eye just as the cherubim atop the ark and the mishkan face each other. Between those faces is the holy place from which the voice of God emanates. Between our faces, I heard God's voice saying to me, Kaylee, Kaylee, it is your role to witness her, all of her. The Mishkan no longer exists, but everywhere we meet a human being in distress, in illness, becomes our tent of meeting. The bedside is our Mizbeach, the altar upon which we offer our presence, offer ourselves in service of another, in service of the ultimate other. Thank you. Please join me as I recite Kaddish to Rabbanan. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shame Rabbah, Beama Divara Herute, Veamlich Machute, Bechaechon, Uviamechon, Uchaye de Hobet Israel, Baagala Uvisman Kari Vimru, Amen, Yehe Shme Rabbah Mevorach Leolam Ome Omaya. Yit barach vish tabach vit baar vit romam vit nase. Vit hadar vit ale vit halal shemed kudisha brihu. Leila minko birchata vishirata. Tush birchata venechemata. Da miran be alma vimru. Amen. Al Yisrael ve al Rabbanan ve al Tamidehon. Ve al kol Tamide Tamidehon. Ve kol ma'an de askin be oraita. Di be atra haden vedi beho atar ve atar. Yehe lahon ulechon, shama raba china vechista, verachamin vechain arichin umezona revicha. Uforkana min kadam avuhon di vishamaya vimru amen. Yehe shama raba min shamaya, vechaim tovim alenu ve alkol yisrael vimru amen. Ose shalom bimromav, hu berachamavi ase shalom. Alenu ve al kol Yisrael vimru amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.